Thanks for tuning in, this is The Life of Miner, and in this video I'm going to go over the hash rates, power draw, and overclocks mining on the GTX 1660 Super. So let's check this out. Okay, so I do own the GTX 1660 Super from Gigabyte, and I'm going to share my results mining Ethereum, and I'll also compare these results with other graphics cards as well. So first check out the video card driver I'm using. I'm using the most updated driver as of today from NVIDIA, driver version 441.08. Now this is my test bench with the GTX 1660 Super and it idles around 42 watts. So using Claymore Miner version 15.0 on stock settings, I was averaging around 26.58 mega hashes. Now my whole test bench was pulling around 157 watts, so the GPU itself was only pulling around 115 watts. Now I do want to mention that some miners do display how much power the GPU is pulling and there are other third party programs that show this as well, but majority of them are not correct. So it's best to use a kilowatt meter and physically check the power, but for Claymore Miner, the power reading was actually pretty close to what my kilowatt meter was showing. Now for the overclock program I'm using, I'm going to go ahead and use the most popular program which is MSI Afterburner, but personally I undervolt all my NVIDIA graphics card using NVIDIA Inspector to save a little bit more power. And this is the stock settings for the GTX 1660 Super. Now since Ethereum mining is more memory intensive, the max memory I can increase this card without it crashing is setting the memory to plus 950. So now I was averaging around 30.69 mega hashes, but the power did increase and the GPU itself was now pulling around 123 watts. And all I did was increase the memory to plus 950 in MSI Afterburner. And now for the best efficiency setting, I was averaging around 30.9 mega hashes and the GPU itself was only pulling around 80 watts. So I did shave the power around 43 watts and I did gain a little bit of hash rates. And this is the best efficiency settings I tested in MSI Afterburner. I put the core at zero, the memory at plus 950 and the power limit at 65. I did also want to test out Phoenix Miner. So on the best efficiency setting, I was averaging around 31.12 mega hashes, but my GPU itself was pulling around 94 watts. So the hash rate is slightly higher in Phoenix Miner compared to Claymore, but the power draw is also slightly higher as well. Okay, so now comparing the GTX 1660 Super with other graphics cards. Now I do want to mention that I didn't personally test out all these other graphics cards. I got some of these figures online, so they may not be exactly correct, but it should be close. So to sum it up, the GTX 1660 Super averages around 30.9 mega hashes, pulling around 80 watts. So for the hash per watt ratio, the 1660 Super averages around 0.37 mega hashes per watt. Now checking out NVIDIA cards, the original GTX 1660 averages around 26.2 mega hashes, pulling around 80 watts. So the average hash per watt is around 0.33 mega hashes per watt. Now the GTX 1660 Ti, it averages around 30.2 mega hashes pulling around 90 watts. The average hash per watt is around 0.34 mega hashes per watt. Now the GTX 1070 averages around 31.2 mega hashes pulling around 110 watts. And the average hash per watt is around 0.28 mega hashes per watt. And then for the RTX 2060 Super, it averages around 42 mega hashes pulling around 125 watts. So it averages around 0.34 mega hashes per watt. Now checking out AMD graphics cards, the RX 580 averages around 30.5 mega hashes pulling around 120 watts, so the average hash per watt is around 0.25 mega hashes per watt. The Vega 64 averages around 44.1 mega hashes pulling around 230 watts, so the average hash per watt is around 0.19 mega hashes per watt. And the RX 5700 XT averages around 51.1 mega hashes pulling around 125 watts. So the average hash per watt is around 0.41 mega hashes per watt. And finally, the Radeon 7 does average around 90 mega hashes, pulling around 245 watts. And the average hash per watt is around 0.37 mega hashes per watt. Okay, so in conclusion, the GTX 1660 Super is one of the best budget graphics cards if you're planning on buying new. But the RX 5700 XT and the Radeon 7 is still king when it comes to mining Ethereum. Alright, so thanks for checking out my mining results mining Ethereum on the GTX 1660 Super. I'm going to go ahead and test all the other algorithms as well, so stay tuned. 
Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you enjoyed it. Sub if you decide to see what's next. But of course, thanks for watching and always happy mining.